Skip it across the floor. Dukes, an open three on the way. Good. Khalil Dukes has the Purple Eagles in flight. The corner goes to Larkin. Here's Larkin. He'll pull up. Left elbow jumper. Good. Well, about halfway between the low block and the left elbow, and Kevin Larkin begins to warm. Right hand bounce around Welton. Skip it into the corner. Barton, a wide open three. Good. Great feed there by Matt Scott and Chris Barton just licking his lips in the left-hand corner. Stolen back by Khalil, three seconds left. A high arcing three from the corner, good! Well, a little beat the clock by the Purple Eagles in Khalil Dukes. He'll go baseline, whips it up top. Barton an open three, yes! Chris Barton knocks in his second triple of the night. Give it now to Dominic Robb. Couple crab dribbles in the paint. Left hand floater, good. Dominic Robb with his first field goal. There's the start Niagara was looking for. Here's Barton with it now to Matt off a screen. Two pointer on the way, no good. Offensive rebound, Dom. Holds it over his head. Couple of crab dribbles in the paint. Up with the right hand on the way, good. The generous roll for Dominic Robb. And folks, he is back. Here's Matt, whip it down low. Caught by Marv, layup, yes. Crochet on a great feed by Matt Scott, and it's a two-possession game. Okay, now Chris going to take it down low. Leaves it for Kev. Layup on the way. Good. Good finish there by Kevin Larkin. He's got a half dozen. Pretty much in a nutshell, I thought St. Peter's defense was very, very good. Um, I thought they were very physical. Uh, they defended really well, and I thought it really bothered us offensively, and we just couldn't get going offensively. Um, I thought our defense was better in the second half and our rebounding was better in the second half. Um, but we needed to have a better start to the game. Um, what, do, what do they do so well? I mean, I'm trying to watch, obviously watch the game, but what do St. Peter's do so well to have you know defense like they have this year? They rebound. They got physical guys who are seniors who keep you from getting by them off the dribble. Um, you mentioned the start. Obviously, you, know, you took your starters out. Um, what weren't they doing? I mean, was it you know not going according to the game plan, or was it just a, a lack of? Um, no, I was focus? trying to find a way to get us going. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't anything specific. I thought we had a slow start, and uh, a lot of that was attributed to, to them. And, uh, you know, I was looking for something to get us going. Yeah. You know, got us going a little bit, you know. And then we came in, and, you know, those guys came back, and it did okay, but we had already dug ourselves a hole. Yeah. Um, the second half, obviously, you know, way different. You come out on a 7-0 run. You have a couple 7-0 runs in there. Um, what was, was it just, you know, Picking up the intensity, you mentioned rebounding. Is that just you know focusing on the little things a little bit more than early? Um, yeah, I thought our defense was a little better in the second half. I think we played you know with more energy. Came out in the second half. You know, we played with more energy, more toughness. You know, I thought we played okay in the second half. We were just you know the lead was the lead going into the start of the second half, and you know we were just never able to overcome. I think we had it to six, and we were on the free throw line. Mm -hmm. You know, we missed some free throws where we needed to make. You know, a couple open looks from the perimeter that we needed to make, a couple layups around the rim we needed to make, and we didn't make them. And, you know, we need to make them and, and attributed to them, you know, defensively they did a good job.